What's up guys, welcome to yet another great episode here at Tech Ed. Today we're gonna do a Tech Explained video. And the purpose is for this is I want you guys to get educated on various things in the tech world. And today we're specifically gonna talk about how smartphone cameras work. Why is this? Because many of the times what's your kind of shop for smartphones, you're confused by the numbers. There's 108 megapixel there's 64 megapixel, there is 32 megapixel. And the way at times, while I was looking to your phones, what we put, the bigger the megapixel, the better the image. But let us could demystify your story. Why? Because higher megapixels don't always mean better photographs. Now, I'm gonna explain in a short term, uh, it might get technical, but please bear with me. But let explain with smartphones which kwa picture. And to do this, I'm going to demonstrate it using an actual camera. Now, I have here the EOS R5. It's uh, one of our babies here. Now, this camera has ideally what you'd call, it has more than two stages. It has actually three stages. But this is what happens. You have stage number one, which we call the lens. Now, many, smart, many cameras actually do have interchangeable lenses like these are 24 to 105 uh here i have a 50 mm here in the in the, in the studio with me uh, in the background there's a you know there's a 70 to 300 mm all those are different uh, zoom capabilities and since because you cannot have interchangeable lenses in uh, a smartphone what many manufacturers have done is they actually give you different lens components for example here i have the oppo find x5 and it has three camera uh, configurations it has the wide it has the ultra wide the ultra wide is what you know it, it's like a 50 mm it goes farther in so that you can get a bigger image and then you have the telephoto the telephoto lens is what goes zoom you know no, penga opportunities are to zoom so if an image is bali you want to bring it closer you have that in the zoom so up until there we're, we're together wide ultra wide telephoto is only basically different lenses now these lenses what as you come at different apertures like he he gonna the same uh lens qua wide na ultra wide but aperture is different because they both use a sony imx 766 sensor but up on a f 1.7 on the wide or the main camera na f 2.2 on the ultra wide now your uh, focal uh, range, you know, in, in a determine to how much light in the aqua sensor. Now, up until that point, we got it together. Now, the second stage in smartphone cameras you also get is the sensor. Sensor niyo kitu manonapon dani. Yodo netwa sensor. Now, in this sensor is where uh, that sensor is basically is what is able to interpret the light coming into the camera through the lens now different manufacturers or different smartphones use different sensors now there are some of the biggest companies who um, you know sensors kukona sony kukona samsung kukona leica uh, kukona you know many other companies out there when you're not lenses are smartphones specifically like again case study here a oppo find x5 uses the sony imx 766 sensor so it's a it's a 50 megapixel sensor to kiongia megapixels to nongyanga sensor kama hii canon inatumia 45.6 megapixel sensor so that's what we talk about when we talk about sensors the sensor is actually what determines the megapixels so, so we can unlock the Samsung world, the, the, the 108, HM1, HM2, HM3, HM6, which is actually on the uh, Samsung Galaxy S22. So you need sensor. And you know, the guys over at Samsung even actually have a 200 megapixel sensor in the works. But basically, up on your mambo ya megapixel eco eco kwa sensor. Your sensor do na interpret light kulingana na vile lens yako imechukua lakini images don't just end at lens and sensor now when you come over to the smartphone biz you have what we call 
the processor. Apo kwa processor, kukona kitu yitongwa ISP. Uh, the image signaling processor or uh, what we're going to the the imaging processing unit nani pata and this uh, uh, isp of the of the the ipu is in what we call the neural processing unit let's talk about it as an isp the isp is the image signal processor sasa ukichukua picha hiyo isp dania processor ndio huwa ina interpret whatever the sensor has seen into the final image you will see so it's a four stage process lens sensor processor and then final product so e process you happen so fast within a, 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 you, you, your smartphone that you don't get to see it happen but it happens and it's as soon as you click you see the image now this is what happens to determine the end quality Kukonayo three stage, kukona lens, kukona uh, sensor, na kukona processor. Sasa, apa specifically in Kenya, we've been confused by the big numbers of processors. And that's why you have, you know, you can have a, a different brand that has the same megapixel with a diff, another brand A and brand B. They have the same the same megapixels. Unasikia 108, unasikia 64. Lakini you can figure the actual image, the end result ni tofauti. Why? Because all of this difference is brought about by the processor. Naletwa na processor. So, for example, in this uh, Find X5, they, it uses the Qualcomm Snapdragon 888. Lakini what Oppo did, they came up with their own NPU. In it was Mari Silicon. Apo kwa Mari Silicon, dio uh, dio magic yote ya image processing ina happen so e sim ukupiga picha ina kuangana dual image processing both ina happen kwa snapdragon na both kwa mari silicon ndio end result ya image yako iko finely processed na hapo ndio many of the times ukipiga picha alafu click i click a button ka ai Inajua, it gives you a it, it realize ni nyasi unapiga inakupatia more green even more than the grassland unapiga because your magic ina happen ndani ya processor so next time you're out there shopping for a smartphone don't just get confused by the numbers usiende waambiwe hii iko na 64 megapixel na uko less ni wani msa unapenda picha but don't get confused by those numbers check what processor does it use you know throw them off by asking them e na tumia processor gani because the higher the processor the better the image quality that you get at the end of the day and that's why baka wa leo iphone still uses a 12 megapixel camera but my goodness ile image ina toanga ina shinda ya some other cameras that choose 108 megapixel why because all the this other magic happens within the processor kwa isp computational photography is the ability of your processor kupiga piga mahesabu hapo ndani ndani na kukupatia the end image kulingana na vewe unataka so that's what actually happens to give you great images so next time when you're out there shopping don't just be confused by high numbers you know and by the way high numbers at times mean good things because at the end of the day there's a reason why the processor is bigger and better by the end of the day what really matters is the processor so if you're there and you're photography freak you're looking for a nice smartphone camera look for something that has a very good processor here is a wrap from us guys from today please let us know in the comment section what are some of the things you'd like us to demystify for you do you at least more knowledgeable when it comes to smartphones na tech otherwise it's a wrap from us guys Nam sasa subscribe by the way like comment subscribe tuanze kuongea in the network we are here for you and hopefully you'll be there for us see you guys peace out